They're saying that by the end of 2019, you'll see these cars and bikes on the road. They are going into full production exactly as is. out of the Biden press conference here at CES 2019. Now, I have this very tumultuous relationship with Biden, if you remember. Last year at CES, they introduced their m bike concept car. Nobody was allowed in it. When we went to Mobile World Congress in Shanghai, we finagled our way into a concept car finally, but I was not allowed to touch anything inside. And here we are in 2019 at CES, and um, we were hoping for announcement of a newer model or something like that, but they announced something completely different. They came out with a new slogan called It's About Time, which relates to two main things. So one of the announcements is they are introducing a new user interface system. So inside the car, they're known for their very big dash screen, but they've included a steering screen that's also a touch screen, multiple ways to control your car with you as a driver and also your passengers. They've also added these camera sensors for safety reasons. It can detect facial recognition if you're getting drowsy, if you're falling asleep, and it has all the safety precautions. Um, but what is really interesting about this user interface is that they've developed their own OS. It's called Byte OS, and they have their own app called Byton. So basically they came out and said, we are not an auto company, we are a digital company. We're a digital startup and we've come out with this entire ecosystem that's not just about our cars, which makes sense because there really hasn't been much emphasis on the cars exteriorly themselves, it's more about what's inside. So they've launched the M-Byte um, concept car, the first one last year. In the middle of last year, they came out with the K-Byte and they're saying that by the end of 2019, you'll see these cars and bikes on the road. They are going into full production exactly as is. Very rare for a concept car to be seen on the road for consumers to be driving, but I guess we'll believe it when we see it. Here's their timeline, okay? Announcing this new user interface, at CES by Auto Show in Shanghai. They'll have a showroom called the Byton Place in Shanghai for people to experience the cars themselves. By CES Asia, they'll be ready for production. And by the end of this year, you will be seeing these babies on the road. Is it possible? Starting at $45,000 US? I don't know. Again, we'll believe it when we see it.